So how was your day? Are you trying to make small talk? Oh, sweetie, you really don't have to. No, it's the accepted convention. How was your day? Well, uh, they shifted my schedule around at the restaurant, so my hours are going to be a little different. I'm sorry, that's not going to interest me at all. Just eat. <laughs> Okay, that's question 20. You have to guess. I don't know, Sheldon. Are you Star Wars? How can one person be a whole movie? Okay, I give up. Can we just do something else? Fine. I was Spock. <laughs> Are you and Leonard friends with benefits? Are you and Leonard friends with benefits? Where did that even come from? Did he say we were? No, Leonard said nothing. But who knows what goes on over here when he pretends your mail was misdelivered. <laughs> Just mail, no benefits. I see. Why are you asking? I'm curious about the whole social construct. On its face, the idea of satisfying one's sexual appetite, uh, assuming one is afflicted with such, without <laughs> emotional entanglement, that seems eminently practical. What I've observed, however, is Howard Wallowitz crying like a little girl. Well, some people just can't handle that kind of relationship. Can you? Excuse me? Are you able to have sex with men without developing an emotional attachment? Sheldon, I really don't want to talk about this with you. Is this conversation making you uncomfortable? Of course it's making me uncomfortable. Can't you tell? I really have no idea. I don't particularly excel at reading facial expressions, body I'm language. I'm uncomfortable, Sheldon! Thank you. That's very helpful. I don't think the manager's coming tonight, so here... Are you suggesting I sleep on the couch? Well, it wasn't the first suggestion that came to mind, but it's the one I'm going with. I can't sleep on your couch. I sleep in a bed. And given its dimensions, I have no intention of living out E.M. Snickering's beloved children's book, The Tall Man from Cornwall. What? There was a tall man from Cornwall whose length exceeded his bed. My body fits on it, but barely upon it. There's no room for my big Cornish head. All right, I will give you my bed on one condition, that you promise to zip your hole for the next eight hours. May I say one last thing? Only if it doesn't rhyme. All right. Good night. <laughs>